craziest rumor you heard about yourself? Oh my God, so many. So many rumors. I've heard I was a prostitute. Um, I've heard I was 42. Um, I've heard I, I've had AIDS, HIV, yeah, like, I think those are the top three. <laughs> I don't want to keep going on and on to give y'all ideas, but it's been some crazy rumors about me, obviously. Have you addressed any of these three publicly? You know what? Yes, I did address my age. I did a post on that, and I had to address the, the AIDS. I went and got tested, and I posted it on my Instagram. Now, this was about, like, years ago, maybe, like, five, six years ago this shit happened, maybe a little longer. But, yeah, I went and got tested, and I posted it on my Instagram because I just felt like I had to. It was just getting out of control. And just for those in the audience getting to know you for the very first time, care to share your screen name on Instagram? Yes, I am. It's Boss Tech, and it's I-T-S-B-O-S-S-T-E-C. Now, you didn't mention what platform you publicly addressed your age. Care to share the platform that you did with that? Yeah, um, you guys could find out my age on Google, really pretty much anywhere. I always tell my age, it doesn't matter, it's listed. You know, I'm grown, I'm a healthy woman with two grown children, and I look good for my age, and I'm proud of it. I'm, I'm ready to do some more living. And what about the rumor of being a prostitute? Yes, I've, I've gotten plenty of, um, and I don't know, like I feel like people want to see you make it. People want to see you go up, but then it's like once it start to happen or once to get in position, here comes the rumors and here comes the hate. Oh, well, she's so pussy or well, she fucked so-and-so around this time. And it, it's just not true, you know what I'm saying? One thing I'm big on is not selling pussy. What I do sell is dreams. I'll sell you a dream, baby. You know what I'm saying? I'm a vet. I'm not going to lie. I've danced for a long time. And I don't sell pussy. I sell dreams. And just for transparency, never sold your vagina, not once. I ain't going to say that. We ain't going to say that now. I have have sold vagina back in the day. When I was young, didn't know no better, didn't know my worth. I put it like that. But the last 10 years, nah, a bitch can't never say that about me. Care to share how many times you have done that before in the past? Sure, twice. I remember both episodes, which is why I never do it again. It, it's just not for me. And, and with me saying that, it's not for me. I don't like look down on the girls that do it because that shit ain't easy. Like it take a lot to do it, and I know that. So I would never just look down on anybody. Three or four prostitute, whatever you want to call it. I don't look down on it. It just wasn't for me. You know what I'm saying? I stuck to what was for me. So that's how I'm in it. Now, why so many rumors about you? Because there are some that sit in front of this camera and they have little rumors about them. Well, I feel like if they talking, it's good. I mean, I don't really care if it's bad or good. I just want the engagement. You know what I'm saying? I do care about how I present myself and how I move, but I can't really handle or change what people say. So as long as y'all talking, I'm winning. Now, what is your policy on rumors? In the case of two out of these three that you displayed, you did address them in the past. But generally speaking, let's say hypothetically, if a uh, rumor happens in the future. Do you clear them up and address them or sweep them under the rug and let people talk? What's your general policy here? Most of the time, I'll sweep them under the rug. You know, if it's just a rumor, that's just rumors. But if it's an incident or something that has happened, yes, I'm going to respond. But a rumor, no, you know, I really don't have time to engage and respond to everything somebody thinks or says like